Hi Tekla users, welcome to Tekla Tool and Tips video. Today we will learn how to create a macro. For that we will take an example in which we will see why we require to create a macro and after that we will see the benefit to create a macro. In, in this example uh, we will change the class and also fill the comment for the column property. For that first we will see the manual property to change this to uh things manually how we will do it we used to double click on the column column property uh open we used to uncheck all the things check on the class change it to five go to the user defined attribute okay uncheck all this checkbox check on the comment here write whatever you want to write my comment okay modify cancel modify this is how you manually change uh, uh, the class and also the comment box so now this activity we will do by the macro okay so for that uh, to create the macro we will go to the application and component here we will go access advanced features click on that we will get the option record macro global click on that you this window will be open here you need to give the name of your macro so I will give here my macro. You can see here nothing is coming. Once I will click on OK, the recording will be start. And uh, once it will be start, uh, whatever the activity I will do on my screen, all will be recorded inside the macro. Okay, so I am just clicking on OK. So here, stop recordings option is coming. So recording is going that means the recording is going on so what manual process i did to change the class on the comment box i will repeat all the process to record in this macro what i am um, preparing so uh, again i will uh, click on this two column press alt enter on my uh, keyboard the column property will be open uncheck this check on the class change this class go to the user attribute and check all the check boxes here right to check this one and write my macro okay modify cancel modify cancel so whatever i want to record i recorded and click on the stop recording to complete your macro okay so your macro has been prepared okay so to search your macro write your macro name my macro okay so it will become on your application and component catalog so let's see so for that we need to select uh, uh, the column for which we need to apply the property and go to the my, my macro double click on that you can see the all activities automatically done and column properties has been changed double click on that to check see the class has been changed and uh, comment also changed automatically so in the process you have seen uh, that once I am clicking the macro uh, the process is automatically done and uh, it reduces uh, the several clicks and uh, save our time. So according to your comfortness, according to your uh, requirement you can create your own macro and uh, can save a lot of time. Okay, uh, thanks for watching the video. Thanks.